All right, we're here at the Symposium 2025. Joe Medosh with Measure Quick. Joe, what is new with Measure Quick? There's some big announcements that just came out here recently. There are. So we've gone to a subscription model because everybody's like, what's a qubit? And yeah. how do I work with all this stuff? So, so qubits glad are gone. Did that. Yeah, qubits yep. are gone. So if you have them, you can still use them, but there'll be a time where we'll be like, okay, let's convert yep. your qubits to a subscription model. Right. So we have a subscription model that's based on $49 per month per tech. All you can eat, use it all up. That's Everybody understands, they, they know what's going on yeah. and how to get out of that. So uh, yep. it, all of the benefits that come around MeasureQuick are all about like lack of callbacks and commissioning. Uh, yes. You get streaming out of that. You get all these great things that are like amazing features. So if right. you're really wondering what that is, we got lots of great information on, the, on our site to support that. So. Yep. And $49 is a fixed cost for a business. That's right. They, they know what that's going to be. And that's a whole lot easier to plan for than qubits where you didn't really know maybe how many units you'd be working on in a year. Right. It's just, it's super easy and it's just a lot easier for a small business now to start incorporating measure quick. Once you committed to that, you're going to use it. That's right. really the key thing. Yep. And so, but you're not going to be commissioning all your systems. Once they're commissioned, you benchmarked them. That's all part yep. of that, that price. Yep. And now other people come back and do non-invasive as part of that. Stop gauging up all the time because right. now you commissioned your system. Yep. I, now I know what I've got. So yeah. that's going to be a major player for us in terms of everybody knowing how to do it and, and uh, feeling comfortable to just go and just do it all the time yeah. so yeah yeah just make it part of your process that's right i do it it's it's totally doable so yeah yeah well, what else do we right, have so we here? just released and it's uh, as all things are like okay there may be some glitches or whatever we need your feedback on yep. this okay so we just released the ability to do ai and it's not some weird ai it's actually be able to read data plates okay right? we acknowledge that we have great diagnostics you probably are doing great diagnostics yourselves yeah so the things that people hate to do are entering all of these model yep. numbers serial numbers yep. and all kinds of other stuff so we actually create our own ability to just read them directly. There's no third party app. We actually would take a picture of your data plates, they come back to us, and then right. we send them right back. All of the information is now pre populated. And there's a little icon showing you what it is that we determine. We highly encourage you to check your uh, models and serial numbers, but pretty much we are that really dead on. It is amazing. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a huge time saver because uh, that, that to me was like one of the biggest pains of trying to use any software where you have to. Yeah. log something out is putting all that nameplate data that we can just look at in a glance, know what we're looking at, and then we can just go on right to our tasks. And we were doing QR codes, but some right. companies have these weird QR things. Yeah, that it wasn't it, always. So. Yeah, it wasn't always work. It wasn't us. Unit. It was more of the manufacturer right. gave yeah. us weird stuff. So yep. we're working with weird stuff. Yeah, so that, now it's straightforward. And we also are able to determine um, the tonnage and other stuff out of that model number. So we're really oh, reading. That's really it. Cool. We're not just uh, throwing numbers in. Our goal is to be able to start determining whether or not your coil and your uh, air handler are matching each other. And That's amazing. Ultimately, we're hoping that maybe uh, far down the line that there's some a AHRI stuff that all comes about. But wow. manuals, all those things are going to be populated as, as we get more wow. into this. So that's our goal. To that, do is, that, so. that is really... That's, that's amazing. I didn't know you guys were going that far with it. So. But we try to do it ourselves internally, so we're not depending yeah. on somebody else to help us figure this yeah. out. This is us with our own programming team. This is, okay, we can do AI in-house and do yep. it quickly. So it's only a matter of seconds that this stuff comes right back to you. Nobody has given us that kind of information as well as all the diagnostics that measure that's right. quick. That's right, so we have yeah. huge diagnostics and our, our, you know, the, the things where this reaches into is like, okay, now we know some of the conditions that are happening with certain diagnostics, yep. so you know, we're looking like down the road as to what we can actually do as a collective community is one of our With all the data goals. that you're getting. That's right, from, yeah, yeah, so we know these things. The right. last one we actually have is the blanket, all right? Oh yeah, Let's yeah so, take me over there. Yeah, so we have the, the new, um, uh, uh, it's TXV and fixed orifice. We're not okay. just TXV, uh, we have both of them. We're able to actually determine uh, whether you can go below 70, some are 65. Most people are in general hip, shoot from the hip 60. We right. can now go down to 35 degrees, all right? That's amazing. A lot of parts of the country where like, well, Arizona and the South, like, oh, it's hot here, but not in the morning. Not in the morning That's and right. not in April when we're doing preventative maintenance. I can't tell you how many units that I've tried to do preventative maintenance on, on an April morning, 50 degrees outside. Right. And I've got my coat and everything, all my layers sitting on top of the condensing unit <laughs> right. trying to raise that. We're doing pressure. a startup for a lot of countries, yep. a place in the country, uh, January or February. Yeah. That's right. now a feasible thing. So 35 degrees is our low thing. But okay. it isn't just a blanket. You're actually integrating with Measure Quick. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we're actually using it as a device, all right? And so we're able to actually use those to get our calculations uh, in there. So you're actually using it as a third third party uh, gotcha. application. Where does the outdoor sensor go? Does it go inside the blanket where it's reading the warmer air or does it go outside the blanket? That is a great question. 
So on a TXV system, we are maintaining the correct differential pressure across the, the valve to allow proper charging. Okay. On a fixed orifice system, we calculate the target head pressure required yep. to achieve the target superheat. Right. And it automates this whole process. The only thing that you need to understand as a user is how open or closed it needs to be in order to uh, dial this in and get those. So gotcha. those are things that are pretty amazing as to what we're actually doing. So it isn't just uh, some jacket on top. You yeah. were actually giving you it's things. It's calculated. That we, yeah, fi the fixed orifice is something nobody's doing, so that's really right. new to us. So yeah, that was always um, a challenge for me doing spring PMs, especially older units, fixed orifice. You just you would raise the head pressure, but like, what do you raise it to? And right. then what what are you simulating? And obviously, with a fixed orifice, your superheat is dependent on the head pressure because the fixed orifice is not adjusting. So that's uh, that's really really cool. That is integrated in there. Right. Um, Ninety-nine dollars. You can't. You, I can't go wrong. Yeah. Right. So. And we can get all this on like True Tech Tools. Is that really? True the Tech best? Tools got that. That's right. Yep. All, all the stuff you're looking for is always True Tech Tools. Yep. So. Right. right. Yeah, so. Well, awesome. Anything anyway, else? Uh, yeah, I want to reach back out to you, Tim. We love what you're doing. Keep Thank it you. up. You're, you're 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 moving the industry forward, not just with what we do in HVAC, but home performance. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Joe. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, bro.